Chemistry is the investigation and study of how chemicals react together. And this is important because in your body, right now, there are millions of chemical reactions going on which are keeping you alive. Today we're going to look at the rainbow flame experiment. So we've got five different metals, sodium, copper, boron, strontium and lithium. And we're going to heat them up and they're going to give us different colours. So I'm going to use a Bunsen burner to heat them. We've got heat proof mats to protect the bench. I'm going to use tongs so I don't put my fingers in the flame. And I've also got some safety glasses in case there's any sparks so I can protect my eyes. Before we look at the flames, we need to think about what the chemicals are made of. And they're made of atoms. So an atom is the smallest thing that still has the property of being that thing. So if I took some copper and I cut it in half and again and again and again and again, if I have the tiniest piece of copper that still is copper and I can't cut it in half anymore, that's an atom. To understand why we have different colours, we need to think about what atoms are made of. So inside our atom, we have a nucleus. And this is a ball of protons, which are positively charged, and neutrons, which have no charge. And around the nucleus, we've got these electrons, and they're rapidly whizzing around, and they're negatively charged. And they're really important in chemical reactions. In our metals here, we have ions. And in our ions, we have more protons than electrons, and these are positively charged. And the electrons are really important, because they're the things that are going to cause the colours. I'm going to turn on the Bunsen flame here. So some gas is coming through. We're getting a nice yellow flame here because the gas is burning without enough oxygen. If I open the bottom to add in some more oxygen, we're getting a really nice blue flame. And this is the same kind of gas as you would have in a gas cooker. So let's look at copper first. Copper gives us this beautiful greeny blue flame. Sometimes it's more green depending on how hot the energy is. But if we compare it to strontium, strontium has a really red flame. So why is copper greeny blue and strontium red? Now this is to do with the electrons we were talking about. We could imagine that electrons were like people living in a block of flats. And our electrons are living in a low level in the basement where they're nice and relaxed. But if we give them some energy, like the energy from the Bunsen flame, they get excited and they want to go to a party. So they go upstairs in the block of flats and go to the party where they're dancing and using up their energy. But eventually they need to go back to their basement flat for a nap and have a rest. And when they do that, they have to get rid of the energy that they've had to get them up there. And they do this by releasing a photon. And this photon is a packet of light energy. And that energy is a different colour depending on how much energy they've used to go up. So the copper green and blue is quite a high energy flame. So we've had to have lots of energy. It's gone up like 50 floors. The strontium, the red flame, that's quite low energy. So maybe strontium's only gone up about 15 volts. We've also got boron here. And this has a really nice green flame. So this is in between the energy of the strontium and the copper. So maybe boron electrons have gone up about 25 volts. Lithium is a red flame, quite similar to strontium. So maybe the strontium electrons have gone up about 15 for their party. The last one I'm going to show you is sodium. And sodium has a really yellow flame. It's crackling a bit as well, with these sparks there. So why are electrons important? Electrons are the things that make atoms react together. The more energy needed to get an electron excited, 
the less reactive a metal's gonna be. So if we need a little bit of energy to get it excited, it's gonna be very reactive. If we need a lot of energy, it's gonna be much less reactive.